Hi beautifuls and welcome back to another day at Hill Travel Love. Today we're going to be talking about pendulums and how to use them. Also how to protect yourself when using a pendulum as well. So if you don't have a pendulum, you're new to pendulums, you don't know what they're about, let's just jump right into it and get started. Every single day. Pendulums. What are they? They are divining tools. Divining tools mean it's a tool that you use to contact either dead folks, your higher self, any type of spirit that you might work with, or a deity or an entity. You have a tool that you use to be able to communicate with them so that you may receive guidance, messages, warnings, anything that you need that can help your life out. So that's why we use pendulums. That's what a pendulum does, essentially. Pendulums can also be used for checking your chakras, but I'll get into that a little later on. But for now, we're going to talk about the pendulums that are used for divination. So let's get started. And I've grabbed a pendulum here. And I just want to inform you guys that I do make pendulums. You can follow me on Instagram at Hill Travel Love. No spaces, no nothing, and I post randomly when I have pendulums or jewelry for sale, so just stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, this is a pendulum I made called uh, Gypsy Queen, and she has a little base of a crescent moon, and this is a um, quartz crystal. Now, I'm not shooting off my Canon camera right now. I'm off my phone, so work with me, please, but <laughs> yeah. So before we get started with using a pendulum, you want to make sure that you have cleansed your space. And what I mean by that, that you have locked down and protected your home, that you make sure that nothing is going to come in and influence your pendulum outside of the spirits that you allow within your home and around you and all of that good stuff. So for me, what I like to do before I get started with a pendulum is... And I don't do this every time because my home is pretty much locked down. Um, I've been using this for years, doing this for years. So if you're a newbie, this is something that could be really helpful and useful for you. Because I remember when I was using a pendulum my first time, like in 2013, I used the pendulum and something answered that should not have answered. And it had came and flew on me. And it felt like something like was sitting on me. And so I had to yell, get off of me. You know, I had to be like, get the fuck off of me and get out, you know, so that that whatever it was wasn't going to fuck with me anymore when I was using my pendulum. So that's just a short story to tell you. But even before I knew about cleansing spiritual baths, taking care of my home, ancestor work, all of that, like that was before all of that. So I was just messing around with pendulums. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's my story to you to always be protected before you start your divination because you want to make sure you lock down yourself in your home so nothing crazy answers, okay? <laughs> that's a real thing. That's what people need to understand. That's a real thing. So, yeah, I need to make a video about doing spiritual work and not understanding how to fight certain entities or, or demons or lower entities that come through. Like, that's a whole nother topic. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, a tincture. I use this. It's quite loud. I use this <laughs> when I want to um, cleanse my home. I cleanse my home. I do this all over my home to make sure that um, I remove any negative stagnant unwanted energy um, and then I, I burn incense, a smudging of my liking. I really love to use um, a resin. What is that called? Copal. I believe it's Copal. I like to use that a lot. I don't know. It just feels good. It smells good to me. So I like it. A lot of people use frankincense or they use myrrh. Those are really good things as well. Of course, everybody loves some sage. But when you're smudging and protecting your home, make sure you're saying out loud, you know, I release the unwanted energy. I let go of the unwanted energy. You must leave my place now. You are no longer are allowed to stay here and make sure you open a window or a door when you're smudging doing your tinctures and telling 
energy energy or entities or spirits to leave, get out, you know, just make sure that you are fully present, you are armored, you are anchored when you are about when you are locking down your home and you're creating a sacred safe space. And that should everyone should do it, honestly, like it shouldn't be a secret or a surprise or I mean, seriously, people walk around with a lot of shit attached to them. They have a lot of crap attached to them and you don't want it in your home you don't want it in your space like it's so hush hush like nothing needs to be talked about anyway <laughs> so go ahead and cleanse your home cleanse your space after you do that you're feeling good you're feeling well you've locked down your home you can go ahead and take your pendulum go ahead and grab your pendulum and get ready to start your divining now, if you're still unsure about divining, you don't know who's coming through or who you're talking to, blah, 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 um, you can start with your higher self. You can start with your, um, your highest being, the, the spirit of you that uh, would say in the, ether, in the ethers looking down upon you and saying, okay, girl, guy, let's go ahead and make these moves so you can get to the best possible place in your life that you're trying to be. You know, your guide, your guide, yourself, your inner being, your inner knowing. So you can call upon your higher self. And yes, that is a thing. That is a real thing. <laughs> so um, basically your spirit. Um, and so then, and for me, what I use, who, who I contact is my ancestors. Again, I've developed this relationship over years. So I can't, it's hard to really prescribe people to say, yeah, just go ahead with your ancestors and stuff. Your ancestors are first and foremost, yes, but there are certain ancestors who you don't want to contact. It's the ancestors, there are some who are not always here for your best interest. Like, it's a lot to break down and go through. So to, you know, come back to that at a later day, or if you're comfortable, go ahead and call on your ancestors. If you've been doing this work, go ahead and call upon them to answer your questions, but for now, we're going to start with our higher self, you know, that that definitely is here for us, that wants to guide us and help us believe or believe in ourselves and achieve great things in life. So, and everybody has like different guys, they have ancestors that are here to help, they have certain deities that are here to help, like, it's all about who you are connected with and feel comfortable with. So, we're just going to start on the basis, like I said, of higher self. <laughs> so, um, you go ahead and take your pendulum. And after you cleanse your space, you can light a white candle. You can say a prayer before you start. Um, for me, I like to say, and I know I always do this work uh, within my home. If I do it outside my home and I'm asking questions, I'm definitely saying prayers, protection, blah, blah, blah. But when I'm in my home, I feel so very guided and protected. Like I don't feel the need to do all this extra intricate work. Like I just know we are protected and we are good. So, um, so that's, that's the mind frame I'm coming from, just to let you guys know. But um, you take your pendulum. And so here I've created the pendulum to where it has an easier grip. So you don't have charms right here or anything, no charms. Um, it's gonna be an easier grip to like flow on your finger like this to like hang and swing, or you can kind of like grab it like this and um, it'll swing like that. But I notice a lot of pendulums don't have like an easy, or some of them do, but most of them just, you know, they have charms on them and they don't really have like this easy grip area. So that's my little special spin. But <laughs> yeah, so you take your pendulum and I like to try to, and so you can say, I call upon my higher self and only my higher self to answer these questions that I need to have answered. I call upon you to help guide me and protect me and show me the way that I am destined to go. So when you can say a prayer like that, or if it's ancestors, I say, I call upon my loving and caring and protective ancestors to help guide me and answer this question. I call upon you abundantly and I ask you to please help and, to please help me <laughs> and guide me in life with this question. So it's it's a lot of stuff that I say. <laughs> it just all depends. But um that's a gist, you know, of it. So then you might have your um let me put that on me. So you might have your um your 
pendulum and your candle lit and everything like that. And so then after you say your opening prayer, you say, uh, show me a yes. So I'm going to ask this pendulum to show me a yes. So you want to make sure you ask what a yes looks like. And so for me, I don't know if you can see it, my yeses always go in a clockwise position, always go clockwise. So um, yeah, you can see, okay. And so um, it goes in a clockwise position, show me a yes. And um, there you have it. And so once you get your answer for when you ask them to show you a yes, when you know what a yes looks like, you're gonna say, now, show me a no. Show me a no. And to my ancestors, this is a tutorial. You're answering my questions. <laughs> okay, there we go, yep. Yeah. Clockwise. They are showing me a no. Counterclockwise, yeah, counterclockwise. Yeah, so for me, it's counterclockwise a no, clockwise a yes. And that's not going to always be the case for you and everyone else. Sometimes your pendulum might swing up and down, left and right. That's why it's so important that you ask them to show you a yes and to show you a no. So you know what works for you. Because everybody has specifics that works for them. So that was a little bit of my talk about a pendulum. Oh, and when you're done... You make sure you say, you know, thank you to my higher self for your answers and your guidance. I'm very grateful. Or thank you, ancestors, for helping me, for answering these questions, for being here for me. I am very grateful. Um, I end with Ashe. You can end with whatever you want to end it with. Some people be, some people say, um, I don't know. I don't know what people say. I know what I say. <laughs> so I just say Ashe and thank you very much. So, and you end with that. So that's that as far as using pendulums. What are they? What are they for? How to cleanse yourself, protect your home, um, and get your answers. Get going with your answers and stuff that you need because there are always divine beings here to help us and guide us on our path. You know, who would we be without a physical? What would we be without a physical? We would be an energy entity as well, just without a physical. So definitely... Um, utilize a pendulum and see how you like it. I also have um, another pendulum I made. Let's see. Can you see it? Like I said, I'm not using my Canon camera and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is called um, Blessed Earth. It has these crystals and um, and it has a, a uh, amethyst on the end. Ooh, who know it? Yes, amethyst on the end. <laughs> if you can see, anyway, I'm gonna have professional pictures up, okay? Because this phone, this phone, she comes in handy when she needs to be, okay? But I hope you've enjoyed our session today. Oh, and one last thing. If you're not into divination, you don't want to do divination, you're like, I don't know about contacting dead people. I don't understand. I don't know how that fits into my life. That doesn't sound good for me. You know, you're on the brink of that one, you know. <laughs> so that's okay. You can still cleanse your space, all this other stuff, and you can check your shop. Chakras. Chakras are uh, energy centers on our bodies, energy vortex centers on our bodies, starting at the base of our tailbone all the way up to our crown area right here. So um, you can Google this or research this. I have um, not put together anything fancy, <laughs> but and I don't have my lovely uh, husband here to demonstrate, but I probably will soon. But what you would do is you would hold it over a chakra, and then you'll see the pendulum start to turn. And now I'm turning this pendulum. I'm turning it. Yeah, you see the pendulum start to turn. And if they're moving, if it's moving at like a certain speed, if it's going uh, clockwise and stuff and it's moving, then you know that their um, chakra is open, it's working well, it's not blocked, it's doing what it needs to do. But if you hold it over their chakra point, their chakra vortex, and it's not moving, then that means that they're closed, there's some blockages, there's something going on, you need, they need to check it, you, or you need to check yourself. So these things are definitely useful for more than one thing, not entirely just to contact spirits, but it can be used for yourself, 
self-help and your self-work and your self-healing as well. So um, there, there are a lot of ways you can um, swing a pendulum, but these are the main two. So I hope you've enjoyed our session today and I give thanks and I'm happy that you guys tuned in today and have a wonderful day. Check back later for more videos on juicy stuff and follow me on Instagram at Hill Tribe of Love. I am on Facebook as Divinity Shrine, but I rarely add people. <laughs> so follow me on Instagram. I just created a new Instagram page. Like I'm brand spanking new. So yeah, it'd be cool to have some followers. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs>